The Rings of Power is coming out really soon, and I'm getting super excited, particularly with some of these characters that I don't know anything about. And I've read Tolkien for so many years, and I, I can't remember coming across them. So I'm excited to to plow through everything and find those quotes where Tolkien talks about them. So I'm, I'm going to take this time, take this video to give you those quotes about one particular character who I love the most, Disa. So Disa is the uh, the wife of Durin. That's cool. I, I don't remember reading about her, but that's cool. I'll find it. And um, she is representative. She's the first female dwarf to ever truly be seen. Diverse. Playing the first female dwarf. She's strong. She has this passion and ambition. So she's all those things that Tolkien had to put into the Lord of the Rings to make it relevant to England in the 1940s, 50s, 60s, and early 70s. It is so time for us to expand um, the accessibility. So let's let's find the quotes. Let's look for, uh, I guess I guess we can start with the Lost Tales. So let's do a search here for Disa. Sweet. Okay, not in the first book of Lost Tales. I mean, that's that's early stuff anyway, so maybe it's it's not in there. So let's, um, let's do a search here again in, in the second one. Let's go to uh, Disa again. Disa. All right, that's fine. These are, you know, there are 12 books of the histories of Middle Earth. They're not, they're not all available in this form, but um, I, who knows, the children of Hurin. It's possible in a very, you know, I mean, maybe during, no. Okay, no Disa. Let's, let's keep going. Uh, well, this is just the dictionary of Middle Earth. Hey, but if she's important, she'll be in here for sure, for sure. I mean, uh, I didn't, Okay, no, no, let's, let's keep going. Um, uh, Fall of Gondolin, no, The Hobbit. Could be something in Moria, uh, an engraving on the wall that mentioned Disa and Kaz. There, it's gotta be in here, the letters of J.R. Tolkien. Disa, Disa. Uh, well, there's that word, but uh, I don't, I don't, okay. Uh, okay, so we'll just, uh, well, not in Lord of, I mean, that makes sense. She wouldn't be in Lord of the Rings. Disa? No. All right, we'll go to, to, to the next one I've got. Disa? No. I mean, do we do, are, it, it's it's working, right? If I look for other books, like words like book, right? Okay. I just want to make sure the search is working for some reason, because it's, it's not finding finding Disa anywhere, so maybe the search is broken. But no, it's 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 fun. It's work, working. Technology is, is buggy. We're just missing something here, right? It's it's probably a bug and I mean this is Amazon's Kindle software. It's like, you know, it's not exactly top tier stuff. So all right, well that's that's fine. That um covers all my digital books. But I've got I've got a whole whole, whole bookshelf right here, so we can we can check out the books, you know, as printed because digitally, who knows, like in a in a search function if it's gonna be any good if it's broken. It's got to be here because I know the the writers, you know, the J.D. Payne, Patrick McKay, they said they got to go back to the book. So clearly they went back to the book. Go back to the book. Go back to the book. Go back to the book. So I, I'm going to go back, back to the book. So let's, um, let me just zoom out here a little bit. Oh, sorry. There we go. Okay. Zoom out. And then uh, we'll uh, move this here. Uh, let me just turn the lights on too. Okay. So um, let's, let's take a look at what we got here. Okay. One sec. Okay, I'm gonna go with um, the the origin of Tolkien's Middle Earth for dummies. I mean, she's such an important, diverse, diverse. and powerful character that uh, she's got to be in here. Um, um, let me check the the glossary here uh, for Disa. I'm sure sure she's got to be in here. Dior Dolguldur. Uh That's okay. They probably just forgot. Um, all right. So let's see the hardy race of dwarves. Let's see Durin. Durin. Not. I'm not seeing anything about Disa. Oh, perfect. Here we got a family tree. Uh, Durin the Deathless. Durin, fourth name, Thrain, Thorin. I guess uh, they just forgot. Let's go back to something more Tolkien. Let's let's go to his other books. I've got I've got a bunch back here. We'll just grab them to one sec. Okay. 
Um, I grabbed the letters of J.R. Tolkien again because she's got to be in here. So let me let me look at the glossary again. She's incredibly important. She has this passion and ambition. The role she plays uh, that impacts all of the Second Age because of her strength and diversity. Disa, um, Diplomat, Dior, Discuss, Disney, uh, Durin. All right, let's go to the latest one, 426, because it was probably, it was a late addition to the Middle Earth legendarium. So let's go here to this, uh, Durin. They probably forgot in this copy too. Maybe I should get my earlier copy. One sec, earlier copy. This is my earliest, earliest copy of this. This is from 1981. Dale, Dead Marshes, Deal, Denethor, Dior, Dra Agans, Durin. Oh. Okay, okay, not in this one either. Let's take a look at uh, some of Tolkien's other other works, his other writings where he talks about valedictory address uh, on fairy stories. All right, give me, give me a minute. I'm gonna read on fairy stories because with the importance of Disa. This represents progression. Uh, she clearly has to make an appearance in one of his most famous essays. Well, give, me, give me just a little bit of time. I'm gonna read through this here. Well, no mention of Disa there either. I got the Book of Lost Tales. No. Next one. No. All right, we'll go back to the Unfinished Tales again. No. No. Nope. Nope. Not here either. Nope. Oh no! Actually, look, I've got I've got two copies of that. Who knew? Huh. She's so important. We're getting there. I've got more. I've got more. Hey, gotta give it a shot, right? You never know. Not in here. We'll keep moving. Could definitely be in one of his poems and stories. Not in here either. Let me complete Guide to Middle Earth. Back to the source. Got, gotta be here. She's important and powerful and diverse. Diverse. Um, give me, give me a minute. I'm just gonna read through this. Okay, so, well, couldn't couldn't find her. The showrunners said they're going back to the books. Go back to the book, go back to the book, go back to the book. They probably just meant the, the Lord of the Rings. They have the appendices. Let's find the appendices here, and we'll read all about Disa. Um, um, uh, Disa. I guess she's not in here either. They're going back to the books. We know that. Go back to the book, go back to the book, go back to the book. I am excited. I can't wait to see this strong, powerful, diverse woman that is somewhere in a book. One more thing. My earliest copy of The Return of the King with the appendices, it's going to be in there. And who misses this Aragorn the most? Peter Jackson did something wrong. So let's go to the appendices right now. Uh, um, okay, that's okay. Because the... Um, the showrunners, they had access to the Tolkien estate. Simon Tolkien, he gave them all the information that they needed for Disa. So I'm excited. I can't wait to see the strong, diverse female representation of dwarves in Middle Earth. It's going to be exciting. Uh, Disa and Galadriel and Tarmeriel, um, that's exactly what, what Middle Earth needed. And now finally, all of those folks who could never enjoy the Lord of the Rings because they couldn't see themselves in there. I mean, they're all, I, look, there are only a few hundred million copies sold, right? I mean, and there are 8 billion people on the earth. So clearly it's just the white, cis, heteronormative males that are enjoying this book. So at last we will see them in, its right, in their rightful place. It is so time for us to expand um, the accessibility and the opportunity for, for, for this world, Tolkien's world, to be um, seen in a way that it hasn't been seen before.